Hey y'all, how's it going? Welcome back to Assassin's Creed Unity. Alright, so this is uh, sequence 11, technically memory 3, even though it's one of the server bridges. But it is, it's another server bridge, so... What, you know, what to do, it's pretty straightforward. Run to the portal, and we've got some fun with history coming up. So, I know the past two server bridge missions I talked about how I want them to expand on this and how I want them you know how, how the, they've come up with a really cool idea here that I think they could really capitalize on but I think this time around it's just been floating around in my head this question and a lot of people have been asking it lately since the troubles that this game has had uh, and some of the just questionable decisions Ubisoft has been making they um the question has been floating around in my head can I trust Ubisoft anymore and I think it's not so bland a lot of people are saying oh no you can't trust Ubisoft Ubisoft is a terrible company and they they don't you know you can't trust them anymore well yes and no to that I think I'm definitely wary about Ubisoft products, um, and I have been since Assassin's Creed 3. To me, that was kind of the the turning point. That was the one that was so it was so buggy. There were so many problems with it that I was just iffy on it. But then Assassin's Creed 4 came out, and actually Far Cry 3 was, it was a great example. Far Cry 3 ended up being one of my favorite games of 2012, and you had uh, Assassin's Creed 4 which was a phenomenal entry in the in Assassin's Creed franchise and so I don't think it has so much to do with Ubisoft in general but I am wary especially when it comes to Assassin's Creed after dealing with the issues that I have been in this game I, I can't say a hundred percent that I'll be buying Assassin's Creed the next Assassin's Creed um, next November I can't guarantee that I will I hope that they learn their lesson and that um, you know I, I hope they've realized the mistake they've made and next year the, they work to fix that work to try to repair themselves but until I see some reviews on the game until I see some get some feedback from people who have played the finished product I'm not gonna be picking up the next Assassin's Creed um, because I have to buy these games, you know, I don't get these games for free like a lot of YouTube channels. I've, I don't have those connections and so I have to go out and buy all the games to make these videos, to make these guides and I'm, uh, my money is tight. I don't have the money to just spend on 60 bucks on just a whim. So I, I think, uh, next year. I'll hold off. In fact, I was hesitant on uh, Far Cry 4 this year. That was one that came out the week after this, and I, I was kind of hesitant about it. I, I didn't know what kind of mess-ups. I had to wait until the reviews came out, and I had to wait and see if the game was any good. Luckily, it is. It's a phenomenal game, right in line with Far Cry 3. It reuses some of the same assets, but... Overall, that's not a bad thing. It's a great game. It's a beautiful game with no major bugs or glitches to speak of. So, um, so, so I don't know. I don't. Do I trust Ubisoft? Not like I used to, but I'm not gonna just write them off quite yet. I think they they deserve a chance to, you know, you know, come back and recognize their mistakes. So, I don't know. That's just a quick little opinion piece from me, I guess. Not so much about the strategy. This mission was pretty straightforward, pretty easy anyway, so... Uh, let me know what you think about this. What do you think about Ubisoft? I know a lot of people out there are just so pissed at them right now. So, um, I'd love to hear your opinion down below in the comments. Just, what are your thoughts? Are you buying the next Assassin's Creed? How do you plan on going about making your purchases from now on when it comes to a Ubisoft title. I don't know. Anyway, as always, questions, comments, concerns, feel free to let me know. I know I didn't really talk strategy in this video, but didn't really feel the need to. 
So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it got you thinking. Maybe. I don't know. Hopefully. And I hope to see you in the next video.